Here is how you can add VFX on your short film. My name is AK and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So I created a short film that I posted on my YouTube shorts, my Instagram, my TikTok, and there's an effect that really stuck out and I got a lot of requests on how I created effect, which is the time on my arm from inspired from the movie um, In Time. And today I want to show you guys how I did the effect. This is the effect by the way if you have not seen the short film you might want to go to my youtube shorts my instagram my tiktok at ak that we get to check it out so yeah this is the this is basically the effect and as always as i've done as i've always done on this channel i'm going to be pro pro providing my own video for you guys to practice with and also we'll be using after effects and so that everybody is able to follow up with what i'm doing I've already created an After Effects VFX beginner course, so if you have never used After Effects, you might need to check that out first before you're able to like follow up with what I'm doing right here. So the first thing I'll be doing is to drag in my um, main video, which is my arm, just me staring at my arm. I'm going to drag it here and create a new composition with it. So as you can see, it's just me staring at my arms, my arm, sorry. And yeah, I'm going to do something now called tracking. So I want to make sure that the text, the time is actually sticking on my arm. So that way it looks natural and um, realistic. <laughs> so what I want to do now is to go over here. As you can see, you see the tracker. If you can't see it, by the way, you might need to come to window and then activate tracker. So I'm going to go to track motion. And then as you can see, create a track point for me. I'm going to increase the size of the track points. By the way, there's a mistake I made when I was shooting this because I didn't actually thought about it very well. So normally I'm supposed, because I'm tracking my skin, I'm supposed to like have a marker and just draw like a dot or use a tape to just create like a point on my skin that the track point can follow. But I'm just going to do with just, I'm just going to find a very distinct place on my skin and place the track point and just hope the tracking is smooth i'm going to come over here and click on analyze forward so that will track forward and yeah so far i think the tracking was smooth and that was very fast because my video is like very short and yeah the tracking is done so the next thing for me to do now is to go to layer and create a new null object null object is just like an empty layer by the way where you can add anything and do anything with so I'm going to go to edit target and I'm going to make sure it's on null one. I'm going to click on OK and then apply. I'm going to click on OK, X, X and Y. And yeah, so I have the um, null following my arm like that. Let me take out the sound. Um, so the next thing I want to do now is to add the time. I used a font called Digital 7, by the way. Just looks so good it looks like a digital time i'm going to create the time by the way i went for a greenish color so it looks um futuristic i'm just typing out the time basically i'm not doing too much and i'm going to yeah i love it it's nice i'm going to add some rotation to it so i want my points i'm going to click on this um anchor point to and i'm going to move the anchor to the center of the text and i'm going to click on r r by the way is for rotation so now i can just change the rotation of the text this way and just place it here i think it's too big and i had to and i have to add more zeros I'm going to click on zero, zero. so yeah that is that is it. I'm going to just place it here. I can add, I can adjust the rotation just to fit where the skin is. So if I play it, like I said, the text is not following the skin. So now what I need to do now is to hold this thing, it's called the pick whip tool, and then parent it to the null. Just attach it to the null like this. Just drag it to the null. And then now the text is going to follow my arm. Um, and it looks so natural and smooth so now we just need to do some basic adjustments and add 
okay so before that i want the time to actually animate i want the time to go from 12 to 11. so how did i do that i'm going to open up this and then go to text and i'm going to click on this icon for the source text and then on this particular from 14 to 18 frames i'm going to change it to 11. so i'm basically creating like a keyframe and just animating it i'm going to play it and as you can see it went from 11 to 12 to 11. so let's say i want it to go from 13. i want it to go from 13 to 12 rather so at this point i'm going to make it 13 and then yeah i'm going to make it control z sorry i'm going to change this one to two so that way as you can see we started with 13 and it's on 12. so you can basically have fun and change the numbers you can even create more animations it's going to automatically change the number for you and the, the next thing i want to do now like i said is to blend it more so i'm going to go to click on this if you use photoshop very well you understand what i'm about to do now i'm going to go to layer styles and then go to outer glow so i'm basically just going to add some outer glow increase the size i want the color to be like a little bit greenish click on ok and then for the text i can change the blend mode to like screen just to make it like interact a little bit more to the, with the skin you can change it to color dodge whatever looks good to you and then i can reduce the opacity a little bit just to make it blend a little bit more into the skin yeah and then i'm going to create a new layer new solid i'm going to make sure it's like a greenish color as well let's click on ok and i'm just going to use this ellipse tool the mask tool to just create an ellipse a rough one like this and i'm going to change the feather to increase the feather i'm going to like rotate it as well i'm going to click on r just rotate it put it on the skin on the time and then i can change the blend mode to like soft light did that work i can change it to media light i can change it to screen you know i can just i think i like the linear lights and i'm going to reduce the opacity as well so with that basically we have already like recreated the effect to an extent i can increase the mask to make it even more like this so yeah as you can see it's looking a little bit too bright for me i can reduce the size can increase it to 30. So from here, it's just basically having fun with it, trying to make it look good. I can add some bevel and embolves. But yeah, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to just um, stop here so I don't end up getting you guys bored. I'll also be showing you guys how I created another effect, which is the phone screen replacement, in another video. So I hope you've been able to learn um, one or two things. From this video don't forget to like and share subscribe i appreciate the support so far on my channel we are now on 1.2k subscribers which is so insane for me and then yeah i hope to see you guys in another video don't stop learning don't stop practicing see ya